Assalamualaikum. Hi everyone. Today we will continue our lesson Unit Seven Density for Science Year Three. Okay, let's move to our first subtopic: float and shape. There are objects or materials around us that float on the surface of water, and those that sink. What are the objects that float, and what are the objects that sink? Let's throw a stone in the water. The stone is sinks. Okay, this brown is float. Alright, so. In Malay, sinks mean tenggelam, floats mean terapung. Alright, so let's test testing object that float and object that sink. Alright, the apparatus and materials need here. You need a small aquarium, okay? You need a small aquarium, a soap, coin, coke, ping ball, ball, ping pong ball, sorry, sponge, and also marble. Okay, what is the step to do these activities? Firstly, you need to Fill the aquarium with water. Okay, you must fill the aquarium with water. Number two, put all object to be tested in the aquarium. Number three, observe whether each object float or sink. And number four, record your observation as in table A. Alright, you must record your observation in table A. Observation means pemerhatian. Alright, so uh, I will give your answer now. Alright. For example, number one, coin. Okay, what do you think about coin? Coin sink or float? Okay, coin will be sink. Alright. Ping ball. Sorry, ping pong ball. Okay, ping pong ball. Ping pong ball will be float. Okay. Marble. Marble will be sink. Soap will be sink. Cock will be floats. Okay. Sponge will be float. Alright. Based on the activity, which object? Floats. Okay, which object sink? So, according to this table, we can answer this question. The object that is float is ping pong ball, cork, and sponge. Okay, ping pong ball, cork, and also sponge. So, which object that are sink? Alright. So, coin. Okay, marble, soft. Alright, coin, marble, and soft. Alright, so why do object float and all sink? Alright, this is the question for you. Why do object float or sink? Alright. Okay, to answer the question above, let's discuss about density. Alright, the floating or sinking of an object is related to the density of the object against the density of water. Okay. The floating or sinking of an object is related to the density of the object against the density of water. So we will observe together this one. This sponge has a lot of airspace. Okay, this sponge has a lot of airspace. All right, airspace. The soap has no airspace. All right. So, hey, the sponge floats. The soap sinks. All right, the soap sinks. The density of an object actually is different from one to another. They are objects that are more dense than water and objects that are less dense than water. So for conclusion here, objects that are less dense than water will be flat. Objects that are more dense will be, than water will be seen. Okay? Objects that are more dense than water will be seen. Alright. So why do log float on surface of water but rubber band seal in water? So I want you to think okay to think about this one. Why is the log float on the surface of water but rubber band sink in the water? Alright. Let's move to another subtopic. Water become more dense. Okay, water become more dense. Oh it looks like the graph is more dense than water. Can this graph float on the surface of the water? The graph will float when the water becomes dense. How can that happen? Alright. When the salt is dissolved in the water, actually, the water will become more dense. Therefore, the graph that sank before can now float. Okay. When salt is dissolved in the water, the water will become more dense therefore the grab in that sank before can be flawed so the water become more dense when salt is added to it all right so 
when salt is added to it the water become dense right that's why the grape will be float all right okay what will happen if sugar is added to the water let's carry out an experiment here okay floating a fish model on water all right so this is a step what do you need here the apprentice and material needs here because spatula cutter okay you must be cautioned uh, when you use a cutter okay carrots and 200 ml of water and uh, finally you need a sugar this is the step okay this is the step okay this is the step how to do this experiment cap out the sharp shape of fish from the carrots okay from the carrot number two place the fish model and one spoonful of sugar in the water number three still to dissolve all the sugar and lastly add more sugar and still until the fish model fish model floats okay discuss your observation okay let's discuss the answer together how many spoonful of sugar i need to make the fish model float okay it is depend on your activity maybe three or four spoonful of sugar to make your fish model float okay question number two why does the fish model float when the sugar is added in what to the water so the answer actually it is same here okay the water become this when uh when sugar is added to it right the water become more dense when sugar is added to it all right so this is the answer for number two okay let's move on our last topic application of density in life okay what are the application of density in life so the ship and anchor is made of iron okay a ship floats on the surface of the water but the anchor is sink all right you also use a life jacket and fish farming in clothes all right so this is one of example application density in life okay firstly for ship and anchor okay for ship will be fought on the surface of water but the anchor is seen and also a life jacket and fish farming in clothes that's all for our lesson today see you for the next lesson thank you